Hey guys, it's Tess. Hi, I'm Kayla. Oh, you are not here. And today I'm here alone. As you can tell, I'm sitting in Kayla's spot. Do I have, a, I have cat hair on my chest? I have cat hair on my chest. Excuse me one moment. I'm back. And yes, today I am alone, unfortunately. But Kayla and I wanted to do a video where we were like kind of together. And this is something we've been wanting to do for a while because we feel as though if we were put in this situation, we would pass with flying colors. Obviously, we are not from different countries, but I don't know. We thought it would be fun to kind of play this little game. Well, basically, if you don't really like, if you don't understand what we're doing, which I guess maybe you really don't because I don't think this is like a challenge that's been on the internet. Maybe it is. I haven't even looked. It's just something that Kayla and I have talked about. So I have a few questions I've compiled together to be a research on the internet. I don't even, honestly, this is like something I've seen in movies. This is like, I don't even know what it's called. They're basically sample marriage based green card questions, like interview questions, which are very in depth questions about like your personal life. So they ask both people in the relationship, both people who are married and in love, the same questions. And obviously you should be getting Ba like basically the same answers and if you don't they're going to further investigate your marriage and why you got married if you hear Peter meowing he's in the bathroom he's literally crying right now but if I let him out here he would be getting into so many things and you'd be hearing him there he is okay I feel like I should let him out I feel really bad so I peeked my face in and he was using the litter box why are you meowing that much when you're using the litter box so the basic idea behind this video is to show you guys how well Kayla and I know each other. I think you've already kind of gotten an idea as to how well we know each other just because of our past videos. I don't know, I feel like we, like this whole, like just getting rid of stuff in our lives has like freed us so much. Like we've had some really deep conversations lately and just like the things we're learning about each other. I don't know, it's just very freeing and it's just, it's really eye-opening and exciting to learn like all these new things about my partner. I just, it's, oh, it's been really good. I, I mean, there's like a million questions. They have them categorized by like morning routines, kids, holidays, work, cooking, your wedding, all that stuff and I've compiled a list of questions that would best suit our lifestyle. I don't know what she's gonna say to you guys. She doesn't know what I'm gonna say. So let's just go ahead and get started. Kayla and I met in Chicago. In Chicago. In 2013. This ring tells us exactly where we met. At my apartment. Because it was the coordinates of her old apartment in Chicago. The rest is history. I would say either the first night we met. The first night we met, that was pretty romantic. Or a few weeks or a month after we met. The day after. We got really, really close really fast. It was like instant. Uh, as of right now, my work schedule makes me get up at 4.20, 4.30. 4.30 in the morning, so I certainly get up first. If she's not working, it's me, and I'm getting up around 7.30. 7.30, if I work later in the day, then we'll probably get up together. We both make breakfast. Kind of whoever is feeling it that day. It depends on who feels like washing the dishes and who feels like making breakfast. We have a routine where one of us will make breakfast and one of us will do the dishes because we don't have a dishwasher. We basically always have a ginormous pile of dishes in our sink. One of us will make breakfast and one of us will do the dishes. It's never the same. It depends on the day, I guess. Yes, she drinks coffee in the morning. When I go to work, I usually take like half a cup of coffee from home or buy iced coffee and bring that with her in like a travel mug. But sometimes she will go and get her coffee from like a Starbucks or just a coffee shop while she's at work. She will not have a morning if she doesn't have coffee. Tess likes to go to Starbucks, which is like a five minute walk from our apartment. Even when I buy the black coffee in the jug from actual Starbucks label, She'll still go to Starbucks and not drink the coffee that's in the fridge. Maybe it's something I love to do more than she does. Oh, this is a good question. <laughs> She's probably going to say that it's equal, but 
I'll tell you right now, she does it a lot more than I do. We both clean the house. We both clean the house. I'm just, but I would have to say that Kayla does. Yeah, we both do. I mean, I clean probably a lot more cleaning than I do. Like a lot more than Tess does, but she cleans too, so. She also needs to just stay busy, but I just need to clean and be like healthy, apparently, in my mind, so I'm weird. We like to grocery shop together, but when we have days off where we go shopping together is my favorite. I love shopping with her. So our schedules don't always permit that. We go to the store typically on the street from us, just two blocks down the street from our apartment, or we go to one maybe like a two minute drive away. Kayla does a lot of the grocery shopping while I'm at work and she has her days off. Sometimes Tess works and I have days off, so I'll go alone. He just came up and you're so cute. I had fun doing this. This was fun. I can't wait to see the final video. See how many we had gotten right or gotten of the same. So I can't wait to edit it, but this is going to be the end of the video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe for more videos just like this. We put out new videos every single Wednesday and we will see you guys next time. Thanks so much for watching. Bye guys. Bye. Nothing left to see If it hurts and you can't take no more Lay it all on me It kind of worked out perfectly because we have very opposite schedules this week. Whoa, I'm talking way too fast. It kind of worked out perfectly because we have opposite schedules this week. Been very, very busy, which is good though because it's like a good busy this time. It's actually like us going out and having a good time and not so much just like being work busy which feels really really good little life update before we actually get into things as you can tell i'm sitting in a completely different area we are in the same apartment but we are in the spot our rolling rack used to be in so if you haven't watched a couple of videos prior to this one kayla and i were introducing ourselves into the lifestyle of minimalism and it's been a journey. It's been super fun, actually. We've gotten rid of, oh my gosh, a handful of huge boxes of things, clothing, extra dishes, um, just extra things we just don't need in our lives. And it's felt very freeing. Um, we actually wrote a blog post on it. I will link that down below. It's one of the most proud post we've posted on Huffington Post so that's linked down below if you haven't read that yet. One more thing. So we have noticed a few of you leaving requests for videos down below and we are so excited. We have written them down. They are being considered because a lot of them are actually really good and we would love to do them. We aren't forgetting about your requests. We do want to do them. Things just take time. Obviously we're not able to be in the same room to film a video for you guys but we're really trying hard to get good, good content out there. Anyway, <sighs> I could ramble on about our relationship forever, but um, this was fun. Bye, guys.